Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amitpay Technologies. So in this video, I am going to explain about how to check the given number is palindrome number or not. So first of all, what is a palindrome number? It's a simple. The so palindrome number means the number when you reverse it and it will give the same number only. When you reverse the number, it gives the same number is called palindrome number. So first of all, we need to find out the reverse number for the given number. So in the last video, I clearly explained how to reverse the given number, right? Now we are also, we are following the same logic here. I'm taking the number integer n equals to, of course, you can change the number. Then you will get, if it is a palindrome, you will get palindrome. If it is not palindrome, you will not get the palindrome number. So first we are taking the number. Now I'm taking the I'm I need to find out the reverse number. So initially reverse is starting with zero and the condition is the same while n is not equals to zero until the n value becomes zero. So we need to get the last digit every time in d is equals to n mod 10 and then we perform the operation reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus d reverse into 10 plus d this this calculation we have already completed in the last video right just follow the last video suppose if you not it completed so in in instead of writing two lines of code sir can i write in a one line of code means what yes you can write like this reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus n mod 10 is a simple way of writing Single line also you can write, but elaborately I am writing in a two lines of code. First, the digit we are collecting, the digit we are performing mod operation with a 10. I mean, reverse we perform with a mod operation with a 10 plus adding that digit. After that, just we are removing the last digit. This is the way of finding the reverse number for the given number. But the question is, we need to check the given number and the reverse number both are equal or not. So outside this while loop, we need to check the condition. If the given number is equal to the reverse number, then we can say that it's a palindrome number. It's a palindrome number. If not, else it is not a palindrome number. Clearly, we need to explain is a palindrome and it's not palindrome like that. Clearly, we need to specify. But one problem you will get, sir, what is the problem? See, whenever you are keep on make it reverse, right? N value first after working with the digit N value become 122. After working with the 2 N value become 12. After working with the 1 N value become 1. After working with 1 N value become 0. Finally, n value becomes 0. So, every time whenever you are comparing n with reverse, you compare 0 with reverse. So, you will never get the answer. That's why first n value you keep into one variable, any variable, suppose into x or into t or into any temporary variable you can store. So, now it contains x contains 1 double to 1. Here, instead of giving n, please give x. Now you will get the answer correctly. This is the one thing you need to do whenever we are checking that whether it is a palindrome number or in other cases we are doing. That we will see in the coming videos. Hope you understood. Thank you all.